Hey guys, welcome back to Mimoha Vlog. So today we're gonna go, I mean not go, but we're gonna do get ready with me. Uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna need to go shower first. I'm not gonna record that, you're nasty. But I did use this hair oil like one hour ago and I just leave it. Then I'm gonna take shower now. So yeah. Uh, after showering, I will try to style my hair with the new Revlon blow brush. The name, yeah. Anyway, it's like a brush, like a big brush, but it's supposed to be like hair dryer too. It's like, you know, like when you want a blown out at salon. So I'm gonna try doing that. And then after that, we're gonna do makeup. So today, um me and my boyfriend and his mom and her his aunt will go uh, to shisha place and eat sushi while we're doing shisha yes we tried there once with my boyfriends and i like it it's very chill and nice and the cocktail is good too so anyway i'm gonna go take shower and I'll be right back after it and we'll just do the hair thing. Okay. Okay, I'm done taking shower. As you can see, my hair is wet. Right? Uh, yeah. And before I'm going, before, oh, dry my hair. Before I'm gonna dry my hair with hair dryer, I'm gonna put this. Basically, it's like rosemary water. Uh, I just pick like rosemary herbs that's still like a plant cut it up and boil it till it's turned like brownish cut like brown color and then just put it in the sprayer bottle and yeah I just like spray all over my head my scalp sometimes my hair it works oh uh, very well as you can see like there's a lot of baby hair so I'm thinking like it works like I know my hair grow quite a lot but not this much like not so much until like I am covered with baby hair so it works okay mm, remember to close your eyes because it's painful if you spray your eyes okay So usually I'm like putting hair curling cream, you know, for curly girl, for curly hair girl. Uh, but now since I'm gonna like style it, I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just instead just uh, using this keratin heat spray it's for like heat protection. Usually I'm using it like the last product for my hair. So yeah. But today, I'm just gonna use this and then dry my hair. Okay, so that's that for hair products today. If you are interested like for hair care, I guess, that I normally do, please like say it in the comment I will try to do it <laughs> and it's going to be loud uh, it's like I'm going to do hair dryer now so probably I'm gonna like put mute it and just like put like so so yeah I'm gonna plug this hair dryer first and we're gonna dry my hair okay, I already plug it in so let's try it
Okay, well, my hair is damp. Yeah, it's like a bit damp. So, let's do this as a look. <laughs> I'm gonna brush my hair first before I style it. That's how it works. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not very talented with hair stuff to be honest. And this is my first time, and I just bought it yesterday. That Revlon hair blower, hair blow, hair brush thing. So wish me luck. I just always want like I like that salon blowout look, but I always get so like I cannot achieve it. Okay, I'm not good at it. I think like doing it by yourself with like normal blow dry and that brown what is it called that round brush so i'm not gonna try it so when i see this product on tiktok i just bought it wow my hair is straight i mean like not that straight but it's been a long time since i see my hair straight to be honest I like it, but also I will feel weird. Like, how about you guys? Like, do you like have a certain type of hair look, or like, are you like the type of person who get up every day and style it, or you style it each week and put hairspray in or something? Or you just like go all natural and kind of like I don't really care. <laughs> Honestly, I'm quite thankful that my hair is curly because like I'm not the type of person who likes to do my hair because I'm just too tired and too lazy to do it. Especially like I have kind of long hair, so I'm just like. I'm not gonna do that, you know, each week or each day because I'm too lazy. And I'm just not good. I don't know how to do like high ponytail thing to like. Mm. I already tried the like tutorial thing too in TikTok, yeah, but yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go get the Revlon thing and gonna style my hair now. Okay, so this is it. This is so big by the way, like this is it, this is what I bought yesterday, it's from this Revlon, I'm not sure what it's called because like the packaging was in Polish, like the box, so I don't know what it's called, but I think like there's like 2.0 and I just bought the, the old one, the old version one, so yeah, this is it, and as you can see, like you can see there's like setting, Come on, focus camera. Come on. Okay, here we go. Like zero and like snow, so it's cold and then one, two. So yeah, I think I'm gonna just put in one. Not sure. It looks like this the first trial. I should really like separate my hair first. I think so. Oh, I'm really not good at doing this. Or maybe not. You know what? Fuck. 
you know what screw it let's just do it i'm not the uh, should i nah let's just go with it you will all uh, edit some of it like this side not yet but I did this part like can you go like can you see is it better I think it's better than this right it's a little bit like a blowout right it is but most definitely like <laughs> You can clearly tell that I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying and it looks like more fluffy. I mean like more poofy, more volume. That's, that's the damn word. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to continue it. So yeah, I'm just going to wrap it up and show you the end result later on. So yeah. Okay, um, let's do makeup now and yeah, so I just kind of clip my hair and loosely tie my hair too and yeah, so of course we're gonna need to prime and yeah. honestly like before primer even existed like my makeup was terrible, you know like you can see like my pores and even like skin texture and other stuff and of course like I started doing makeup uh, like around what uh, middle school that of course like not full-on liquid foundation yeah 
I just like buy the Maybelline compact for coverage powder and I I thought it was looking amazing and everything and and the skin like so dry patchy and other stuff and you can see like acne to it and I don't, mm, it's just not good but of course I at the time look feel good and I feel like I look so good you know <laughs> well there okay primer done but looking bad at it looking back at it yeah I just have a ha I have a good time so that's what matters even though like my skin looks shitty so yeah I'm using this Vaseline so my lips doesn't dry but I'm planning to use liquid lipstick so I just stay like you know bulletproof kiss proof eating proof that's the most important same with yesterday I'm just gonna mix two foundations so one is this bur bur I'm not even gonna say it yet. I think it's bur bur bourgeois bourgeois I'm sorry I will probably I butchered that name most likely but yeah this is it in the shade 51 w so light vanilla or vanilla clear no I'm, I'm not good at saying this type of words so yeah that and this one it's fit me mad poreless mad poreless 12 hours normal to oily foundation it's in the shade 220 I'm not sure what it's called because there's no in this packaging but anyways 220 and I'm just using a tiny bit amount of it oh, yeah. because I'm just having a hard time like doing swatches and I just don't know my shade honestly so we buy two wrong shade but honestly that bourgeois one the first foundation that i put in is not the wrong shade when it was winter but now it's summer so i get tan <sighs> so yeah honestly where i came from is the weather stays the same since like tropical island i'm gonna mix it now so i only have one foundation i never like have to need to buy like winter shade or summer shade foundation since like you know it's the same it's the same damn thing and you don't need to buy two different shades but now i understand why like if there's like winter and uh, summer like four season countries I need two type of like two shades of foundation based on the weather I mean the weather right yeah so I understand why now it's quite a struggle Honestly, this is one of my favorite part. I don't understand why because it's so cooling since it's like this metal spoon, right? And it's just so nice on your skin. And it feels like you're buttering your bread or something. <laughs> so now I'm gonna blend it. Look good, look good. I think the shade looks good. So I definitely like makeup since I care 
my my mother likes to use makeup and other stuff so i usually just look at her doing her makeup and you know my grandma likes to do it too and my aunts so i grew up with uh, lots of women doing her their makeup and i was like i want to do that like it's so fun and you can clear out some of the imperfections in your skin you know like some of my redness on my cheeks and some acne scars i know it's not like covering it all except like really really full coverage foundation and you should just do skincare and try to fix the main problems and it will be so much better and you will actually be more confident which i am doing of course but you know sometimes it's just like your skin you just sometimes react to your emotional mental health right sometimes you get stressed out and you cannot sleep properly and that's affecting your skin and all your diet especially me i'm an emotional eater so <sighs> so you know i eat when i feel bad which is the worst thing not, not the worst thing but you know the worst thing when you want to go on diet because it sucks and of course like uh you know i it's kind of hard right now with my emotional well-being yeah um as you guys know i am in poland right now with my boyfriend i am missing my family and friends and i just felt lonely sometimes here and i grew up in a big family which is you know most of the time you're not lonely most of the time there's someone there <laughs> most of the time you're not alone that's what i mean you know and i'm really close to my grandma and i just i just miss her a lot so i need to tell you the truth that that you know i am trying to oh sorry about that that i am trying to go on a diet but it's not doing so well since um, lately i'm just feeling lonely and i'm feeling sad about it so yeah but if you want to cheer me up please do subscribe so don't forget to hit the call subscribe button now please if you can do it please please yeah that will be so nice and please do comment i like reading comments i like to talk to reply to your comments so yeah i always respond if i don't know what to respond i probably just like your comment i'm sorry about that but mostly i just don't know what to respond <laughs> okay that's enough for foundation there's still a little bit left no quite a lot so i'm gonna just like blend it on my neck a little so yeah okay i'm done Okay, now let's do powder. I forgot I wanted to say something else, but I forgot what I wanted to say. Honestly, oh uh, yeah, I was so about talking to us, talk about makeup, but I forgot. Right, I got distracted with other topics i guess but yeah so i grew up with people doing makeup and i always like it 
so when finally in middle school I finally just buy uh, the first thing I buy I remember it was this, this compact powder oh oof. this is this loose powder and this compact powder and I uh, go ham with it like I had that teenage skin, I didn't have good skin, I didn't understand skincare too at the time. Like, you know, like at the time, the solution was to dry it out. Like, it, like the face wash is so drying, you guys. Like, but still, it works momentarily, but you know, it doesn't to get cleared up you always get that acne because you get your skin get freaked out because your skin is always dry because you you wash it with a very drying uh soap face wash yeah so it was always a problem like my acne was a problem so i always like to cover it up with this compact powder thing but it always get make it worse because it blocked my my pores it's a disaster honestly <laughs> of course uh, then I kind of learned about skincare around high school or like around college so around that time I finally kind of understand and try to clear it up but of course like sometimes like you know uh everything doesn't work well as well uh, okay powder done oh i forgot concealer eh i usually forget about it anyway so let's do eyebrows now so yeah and if you like more like a challenge type of makeup video or a funny one I recommend you that to watch what I uploaded before it was like trying emo makeup it was a disaster you guys like really cuz uh, I'm trying to follow this girl uh, she, she looks so beautiful by the way and her makeup looks so good and uh, yeah the problem is it's like I'm not good with eyeliner and the that look is just quite heavy base of eyeliner so of course me being not talented enough with eyeliner didn't succeed and I failed miserably that makeup and you can see how it's how it is how it ended and I was visibly, visibly upset, of course, but I, I do tend to like uh, to make it into comedy when I'm kind of a little bit upset. To just like making it not that serious. And yeah. So I recommend to check that video because it was fun to make and of, well of course it's just this the first time I'm trying to make that type of video it was fun so yeah okay that's how it looks for now I um, usually use two type of eyebrow pencil yeah I am quite old, old, old school using this type of products like like really just like pencil like you can see but yeah so this one is the natural gray but in my humble opinion it looks more like kind of like light brownish color and then the other one is this one uh oh come on man focus focus eh, anyway you can see it uh it's another pencil but this one is in black so i usually just uh shed make it like a shadow or something with that gray one and then i just like kind of 
fill it in a little with the black so it kind of more match my hair since I have naturally black hair Can you see the difference? Like it, this one is like darker, but also it's like match my hair. This is like I think that's the it's it looks better for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm done with the eyebrows. Look good. Okay, now let's move on. But first of all, I need to clear up the desk a little bit. So hold on. I'm back. Let's do eyeshadow now. Um. I really don't know what I want to do. Wait, before I shadow, let's do contour first. Yeah. I don't know what type of look I want. I want more like in a natural looking makeup. Like, not that much harsh looking. So, yeah. within my nose I always hate my nose by the way like people always mentioning how flat my nose is like you know like like they want it to look more like you know how like, like white people nose okay I'm sorry not to want to be racist but I don't know what to say but yeah, but right now I'm beginning to like accept how they look because I always hated it since like people keep saying that it looks bad, you know. So I'm already feeling like, well, it doesn't look good and everything, but meh. But, now you can just do with makeup and tweak it a little. <laughs> See, it's better. It's better now. It looks better. Oh, yeah. So I'm just gonna use this, right? This is the bronzer and contour I use like to mix it up a little and just contour my jaw and kind of blending it to the neck a little so there's no like visible line because you don't want that Also lately, I've been enjoying reading books, so yeah, but right now I'm not like, I don't know why, after that book Verity by Colin Hoover, I'm having a hard time to like immerse myself to other books, like to other story. like I haven't moved on from that book, and it ended like, 
it ended with more questions rather than like answers if you read the book you probably understand right uh, especially like the wife like is she really that bad or was she just not misunderstanding like misunderstood honestly like i'm just super confused so i'm not really a f like i'm not that much liking the the what is it the ending part i mean like i'm not hating it either but it's like I would like more answers rather than more questions when I'm already done with the book you know so it's just my type of thing mm. it's good so yeah so right now I'm currently reading uh, Little Sisters by Gagida Lodge Gaida, Gaida, Gaida. I don't know what to do. Uh, I don't know her name. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce the name. So I'm currently trying to read that. I think I like first perspective more when in the book. Like you can kind of more feel the main character right because you are literally like the main character because you get into her thoughts into her thing just makes me more easier rather than uh there's like a narrator narrator telling the story i just prefer that way Or I'm literally just mixing the same thing again, like contour and bronzer for eye. Right now, currently, uh, yeah. So I'm currently reading that. Also, I have been reading the Twisted series, the Twisted Game by Anna Huang. I believe that's the name of the author uh i haven't finished twisted game yet i'm kind of stuck like i don't know why i was just like i'm not interested in it anymore and wanting thriller or mystery type of thing that's why i read verity and just i like it and i just stopped reading that twisted games one thing is that I'm just not li I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not liking the twisted game thing that much. I don't know. I felt like the the personality is lacking from this character. You know? Like there's not much character thing going on. Maybe I just missed the intention of the book because oh shit oh fuck oh no 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 we need to blend that oh no that was a mistake okay hold on let me find my blending brush okay found it uh yeah anyway i didn't I just feel like the character is quite bland, you know? Like I said, I think I'm just missing the point of the book. <laughs> it, not much plot, more like the spiciness of it. I mean, I guess I understand, I kind of like spicy stuff too, but you know, I'm not sure, I just like a good romance, I like very sweet and like the characters just like you can feel the characters you know 
not just like yeah she's a girl she's a guy that guy is the, do, the guy and then they do stuff uh they love each other they love doing that certain exercise together it's just not my thing for now at least hmm? i think i'm done maybe a little bit on this part because this one is darker a little so just tiny bit and then tiny bit here too and we're gonna blend it more so yeah nice okay this is how it looks so far let's do blush now i uh, i think i'm just gonna keep it matte because it looks more natural i guess then with like sparkles it hurts and i don't put sparkles back i think it look good so i should stop adding something uh, yeah Well done. Okay, found it. Okay, I'm going to use this shade of blush. It's kind of like, kind of like peachy pink. I think so. Uh, it's very light. It's not pigmented. Nowadays, like pigmented blush is a thing, but I'm not sure how I felt about it. You know. Like, I do like pigmented products, but I also don't like when it's overly pigmented until it just ruins your makeup because it's just too much and then you need to spend time to fix it more. <laughs> That's not a thing that I like. I like to have like, not too sheer, but also not too pigmented so you can kind of build your way. So you can kind of like, you know, control the amount of it, how much you want to be there on your cheeks. Just, yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of blush. Not over, not like much of it. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Um, my god my hair <laughs> kind of all over now hmm okay that is done let's do highlighter now should i do highlighter yeah i think so i'm gonna use this it's beauty and the beast from i love revolution the packaging though it looks so nice no like the packaging looks so beautiful like look at this like small book i like when makeup have like beautiful packaging because it's more creative that way A little bit on the forehead and here and more here I love highlighter uh, yeah but this is quite subtle I think so they're not like over the bright and sparkly so I usually use it like on a day when I don't want to seem like I have too much makeup on ah, nice okay I'm almost done I think 
the only thing left is lips now I'm not sure what I'm going to use mm -hmm. I think maybe brown oh shit oh my god I'm sorry I'm really sorry that was so loud I think I'm going to do brown yeah Where is it? Um, this is what I'm going to use. This is what it looks like. Come on. Ah, there you go. It looks nice. It's from L'Oreal Paris. It's the shade Color, color Rich Matte 634 Rich Perfecto. Oh, God. This is how it is. Yeah. I like this color. Can I kind of buy it on the on a whim? Like not planning to buy it. I know I was saying that I want to do like it red. I changed my mind. I'm too lazy. look good love it okay i think i am done i just need to do setting spray and yeah okay makeup is done love love it look good i think so hair is done as well do this and uh, yeah now i just need to like put an outfit on but i'm not sure what i will wear but probably just the jeans and t-shirt and that's all so this is it for today's video i do hope you like this get ready with me with my hair this time this is like new stuff for me usually i don't do hair because i'm too lazy and um, yeah anyway this is it for today's video i do hope you like comment and subscribe please guys that will be great that will be awesome please help me go through 500 <laughs> subscription subscribers oh god oh my head uh yeah anyway thank you see you next time in the next video bye bye